Okay, I'm busy editing this and I realized I didn't make a proper intro. So, hello guys, today I was making an aeroplane or attempting to make it in 3D print an aeroplane. Enjoy. And sorry if the audio sounds funny at some points. I don't know what's wrong with OBS, it's just messing me up for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. Okay, this is the current look of the plane. It's the first try on this thing, it has several problems. Firstly, it doesn't have an on and off switch. It just, you put in the motor and it will automatically start up, you don't have a choice. Great. Secondly, I should have run to the theaters, I don't think they'll do anything much to the design itself, but for the rest of it, it nah, I think it'll be fine. Then... Oh, dang it, man, this is done... Nah, that's fine, I don't need to bother with that right now. And then here's the wings. The wings... I hit the function, okay. Okay, so here are the wings. They're 15 centimeters each. So you can see the holes that will connect into this. Okay, they will connect into this thing over here. In theory, with a bolt, it should connect easily. I actually... Mm, I should technically add like an indentation so that will work better, but I'm not going to do that. That'll just be a problem I have to deal with. And now the prop mistakes I made. There's one other mistake, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but this is to be way too nose heavy. So I had to come up with a solution for that, which I'm going to work on in a moment, and I'll explain that in a second. As soon as we just close this and then open up. Let's start with the plain body here. This is in the slicer. So firstly, I did the exact same thing for each of the plane, each of the parts so far. I have a info of 10%, which if you remember the cubes I did, that was 15%, so this thing probably won't be able to handle a landing, like at all. And I made the shell 10. So there you go, that's this basic, it will print. It's going to take a 5 hour print. That'll be fine, probably won't go badly. Then, the, I don't have time to print this today, so I'll print this part tomorrow, so here. These are the wings, each of the wings been put in, I still have to print the prop. That's another problem I'll deal with in a moment, I'll explain that in a sec second. So if I go to splice, you can see here, ports, uh, I have put on ports and there's info, 10%, shell, 10. And I'll explain some of the important reasons why I've done that in a moment. This is the other one, because it has to be the opposite way around. <laughs> So I made it too nose heavy and that's how I'm, and this is how I'm gonna fix it. So firstly I wanna explain. This thing is pretty much a goner for the most part. But luckily uh, ten thick and I made it ten percent info. Therefore I'm gonna weigh the battery, the weight of the battery and the uh, motor together. And I'm gonna fold this up with the battery and the motor. Well, no, no, I'm going to pull up with the weight, equivalent weight of the battery and the motor in sand. So I'm going to take some sand, and I'm going to fill up with some sand that will match the current weight of the battery and the motor while it's printing, and they'll print it up and you'll seal it. And I might make it like a gram more, so I can have a bit of back weight, because that'll help it go up. Now, I don't think that'll help it fly, I'm still pretty sure it's going to fail and fall down to the ground, and break immediately. But it's worth a shot. Jeez. I'm to show you, maybe use water. I could try using water, but I'm worried about that damage of my printer. Anyway. That's how this is looking. Uh, I think there's something else I need to mention. Alright, yes. The prop. So the prop is very simple. I'll actually do that here. So here you go. You can see I made, I got these props. Don't question Jeff. Never question Jeff. So these are the props. Let me just quickly open up another file. And there we go. So this is... Uh, fusion, that's what I use for the way my printer. Not the moment. I'll open this up. There we go. Ooh, which box I use? Let's bring them both in and see which one will look better. Oh, there we go. Okay. I like the look of this one more. Yeah, it looks more solid. Delete that. This is the length of this one scale. 
make that fifty. And we got ten at the back. So there we go. That's the maximum size I can have for this. Then this is the one I'm gonna make full. In full is gonna be a hundred. Well, this because if this breaks, then I have a huge problem and I have to reprint this. I don't feel like reprinting it ever. Again, I can reuse that a lot. So I'm gonna take off this raft. And then I think it's done. I just need to add some supports. Let's see how, how long it'll take like this. It will just take an hour. Hopefully this prints well. What's that? And I'm auto supports. There we go. There we go. That should take care of that problem. I actually wish I could make it bigger. Can I? Supports clear. Let's take that and rotate. Rotate it to like here. Now let's see how big I can make it because now it's bigger and I feel like you need a large prop. For what I'm doing here. For not so obvious reasons, I think a large prop will do better than a smaller prop. I could be wrong about that. I have no reason to be believed for this. I have no degree to say this works. I'm just taking common sense. Because, I mean, if you have an understanding of common sense and a computer with Google, you can pretty much do anything nowadays. There we go. Let's auto support that. And there we go. That's it. Start slicing, slice. And this is all the parts. I'll uh, have like a link to all the parts if necessary, or if I can find a way to do so in the description. It's just using very few supports. I'm very happy about that. So I'll have, I'm printing the last part tonight, will be the printing of the bottom. And it's here, we printed tonight. Then I'm gonna print all of these tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow afternoon, based on the amount uh, things I'm printing is about two hours. Two hours, I think. Yeah, two hours. And then finally, another two hours. So, considering the fact that they're all two hours long, I thought that does the thing for this. I took about six hours to print. If I have time, I think it'll be done around like 12, not 12, 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Starting at like eight. All right. Yeah, my mess isn't that bad. Just open this up again because I used the wrong laptop for sports. No, change it to that. Yes, and an auto support. There we go. So that should be the entirety of this thing printed, and then I can put it together, which will be a really quick and easy thing because all you do is you just you take this. You throw the one side on, you throw the other wing on, throw the two wings on, you throw a bolt between them so they don't like fall apart, and then you stuff the battery in because the battery will sit in there loose, and you put the motor in front of that. Maybe use some tape. The the motor will be spinning at this point. Maybe use some tape just to make it stay there, and then put a prop on the front, and then I'm done. That is the entirety of my little plane finitos. Anyway, let's send this off to the printer.
I've cleaned it all out. You can see this is the pile of supports I got out of it. So it's kind of late now, or as far as finishing the 3D print goes, it's relatively late. But it is done, finally. After something like six hours of printing, the quality of the lighting right now is probably terrible, sorry about that. Here we go. Let's my phone. Move it over to my desk. And this is how the print looks. I do need to clean up and remove like all the outer stuff, like the the, the uh, supports and all that, like you know all the stuff. It pretty much peels peels away most of the time, which I'll do later. And then I can shove this battery and this rotor in, and they'll make a connection, and then they'll start moving. Which you can't quite see because I don't have ability to do this with only one hand. One second, we go almost short. There, I had it for a sec, but the movement, you know, breaks it. It's besides the point. You get the idea. I'll quickly clean this up. There you go. Don't miss of it. But here's a problem. So, firstly, look at that. If I try to put the motor in, way too big. Gave way too much leeway. Then when I try and take the battery, too small. So I oversized the front and undersized the back. And also this thing is really heavy. I don't get to put all the sand in, I decided against it. But it the, the back edge may have been heavy enough. But you know this is now definitely a failure, and I'm not gonna go and redo the entire thing. So like uh, repair the back end so I can do another six hour print to fix this and all that. Because I just don't have the time to do that for print that I know won't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a bunch of shorts. And explain part of my process of making one of these types of things and then I'll start all over again and remake the entire design. Same principle of having the battery and that is the only thing to use it, to power it and everything. And to control it and the only electronics on board. Except maybe an added switch would be nice. And then I'm going to redesign the thing, make it lighter, make it possibly stronger. And all that and this was probably still end up being used as I have an idea this might be an interesting useful another option I have is to add like um make this into a little secret thingy because I already have a front on the top uh, of a front area I could add the uh I already have a back area I can make a front area that connects to the thing and add the wings still and then have like a cool model by dad I'll do that but we can still test to see if this part will fly so here it is, you can see that. Let's see the damage. Okay, yep, nope. So as you can see, this thing would never have done anything in a hundred years. It immediately broke. Actually, that's a pretty clean peel off right there. This will still have a use though. Though it was a large waste of filament, I will try and find something else to do with it. Uh, I might use it as something for another project. I doubt that it will work for that, so I'll probably use it as a target of destruction. So because I can't use it for anything else, I'm going to destroy this. Suggestions. I'll do anything to it. That, you know, legal and can afford. I don't exactly know how to get a hold of a nuclear device if you want me to blow it up or anything. But I mean, that's a pretty decent thing. I can create like a seal for that top, throw something in there that might be slightly explosive, blow it up from the inside out, like a firecracker. That might be fun. Or... Pretty decent front half of a boat. Could sink like the Titanic. Yeah, I grew with ideas. They just realized this is way too long to turn into a bunch of shorts. This is going to be a video of a fail. 
anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, join my Discord, follow me on Instagram, though you probably won't see anything there. And Twitter. Wait, what did I do? Third mm, point. Yeah, that is incredibly weak. Look at that. I just snapped that by accident. Garbage. So I don't know what to do with this. A lot of footage. I time lapsed the entirety of the printing process. Why is this not focusing? The entirety of the time I printed it, I had something running. It's kind of disappointing that it failed. But, you know, best I could do.